That's the one thing about this shirt. And don't mind my <laughs> don't mind my little cart in the back. Let's try that again. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is very out of the ordinary for what's usually on my channel, but maybe I'm gonna start getting into this uh, luxury reviewer world because um, I've recently gotten into luxury products. So today I wanted to talk about a product that um, is from Louis Vuitton that I could not find any information on, at least on YouTube, when I was doing my research trying to get this product. And this is the S Lock Sling Bag. This is, I wanted something that was, I could kind of use every day, kind of low key, a little casual. Uh, maybe you could kind of dress it up if you want, um, uh, whatever. But I wanted something that, that, that was a little bit less like in your face, LV. Um, so this ended up being uh, like something perfect that I think a lot of people might like. Let's just get into this unboxing. I've worn this bag. I've had it for probably like two months now, maybe. Um, but of course, when you get it, it's gonna come in the box. Um, I put it back in the box for you guys. Uh, this might not even be the original box. I don't know. Um, here it is. I love it. Uh, it is in black to room. I'm definitely saying that right wrong. Uh, let's just say it's black leather. There's a specific type of leather that uh, is on their website that this is in. It's not cowhide, but um, anybody who is very well versed in Louis Vuitton and the different types of leather will know what this is by looking at it. I love it because it is not it's monogram obviously but it's not like super in your face like uh like a, a canvas one would be all black hardware all matte black uh it matches the leather the leather is matte black as well um it's trunk themed trunk inspired so you have the s lock here which is oosh, a magnetic closure um you can see some wear and tear on it already from about two months of use I will get into the wear and tear of how I feel about that in a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's a magnetic closure for the S-Lock. Um, inside is very tight. Um, there's just this opening right here and you have the label and all that. And then there's another zipped compartment um, here and then a smaller compartment in the back. There's also a very very tight um, compartment in the back that you can put like I mean I put the receipt in there before when I'm storing it um, but like maybe receipts I don't know and it also has this cowhide uh, handle up here which is functional but uh, you're never really gonna hold this because of the way it's designed I mean I do sometimes hold it like this but it's not very practical like you can barely get your hand through it and because it's a sling bag and not like a bum bag or a regular like crossbody, it has these attachments on the side that aren't really attachments. They just kind of extend out of the bag. So when you hold it, it's just, I feel like it looks kind of dumb like that. It's really weird. Um, but the handle is there if you want to use it. <laughs> I use it to like, if I have it across my body, like I'll grab it to like kind of lift it up and over me. So the bag, I love the look of it. I love the material, I love the leather, uh, the type of leather that is used in this. Um, it's matte, it's a matte finish. When I got it, it was, it almost looked like it was just dry. Like it needed some good conditioner or something. Like in general, it is, it's, it's, it, it just looks dry. I don't know how to explain it. Like. It is matte, so I understand like it's supposed to look like that, but like oil marks and everything like show up super easily. So you do like are constantly like wiping that off of the leather. Now the S lock right there, um, it's a very strong magnet. Um, and when you open it and it closes, if you're not careful, like, you know, actually like holding your hand down with it, as it travels down, um, if you just let it like lock like that, over time, I am sure that since this uh, black 
piece is painted black around the edges, it's going to start chipping away. Um, I'm assuming it's going to do that and it might start to show the color of the metal that's underneath the black paint, which is most likely silver, uh, which is silver because I'm seeing that it is actually doing that right now. So I think you can see like on those edges, it is kind of doing that. Um, that's something that might be able to be avoided with care if you're like being very gentle with how you close it, but sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes you're trying to get something out of the bag in a rush and you let go of it and it snaps shut. Um, so there's that. Um, another thing that I am not too fond of is the strap. Um, Louis Vuitton's been doing this like guitar strap. This isn't, I don't think this would be considered the guitar strap, maybe it is, but this is just like one of their fabric straps that they have been using a lot on their men's collection items recently. Um, let me get closer so I can show you guys, but you're not gonna be able to see it on camera, but like, oh, well, there you can. Uh, it like can start to fray, like, and just not look super appealing over time. I'm just not a fan of fabric straps at all. Sure, they can look cool. You might be able to put some cool designs on them, maybe even some pins. I'm just not a fan of them. I have this, um, matter of fact, let me go get it for you. So I've had a bad experience with fabric straps because I have this Burberry um, bum bag, I guess you would call it, that has a fabric strap. It's currently my daily bag right now, so there's like a bunch of stuff inside. But um, on the outside, it looks fine. On the outside, it looks decent. It does. Um, there is fraying, um, but you would ha you probably can't see much of it on camera. But in person, like if you were to really look at it, you can see that like, oh, okay, that looks like, it looks like it aged like, a, like any other fabric strap would. On the inside though, that is where we are having a lot of issues. Um, so this could be caused by either the clothes that I was wearing, um, probably a combination of that and like constantly adjusting it with this um, mechanism here for the price of this bag. I should not have to be worrying about that. Um, and let's, this is all nylon. Let's put that out there. Anyways, um, so when I <laughs> had this bag, that was the first thing I thought about. I was like, I really don't wanna have to deal with fraying fabric. I mean, I've only had this for like about two months, so that it's not like fraying or anything. Um, there is like, it does, it will catch lint and stuff. Um, so what I do is before I put it back in a test bag, um, I go over it with the lint roller, um, and just try to clean it up as much as I can. Um, that is like, I think my biggest, um, like the biggest thing that I don't like about the bag is just the fabric strap. And I just do not like fabric straps at all. Like at least not like cotton ones. Maybe if they did like a nylon one, I think this actually might be nylon. I'm not sure, this might be a hybrid, but I have like a Lululemon one that like is full nylon which I can assume that it might age better over time just because it's a tougher material that's more resistant to like fraying and stuff like that. I'm gonna try to put it on for you guys so you can see. So this is how you adjust it. You can just pull it and pull this part and then grab the top of this and pull it down. That's one of the ways. I do that to kind of, instead of like just pulling it like this or any other way, to kind of minimize like the possibility of it like fraying. Um, anyways, so this is usually how I wear it. I, um, this is probably a little high up for me, but it's meant to be worn um, across the body um, like this. The way it's designed, especially with these little tabs here, it's really meant for you to wear it across the body. Um, the height, you know, you can do it however you want. This might be a little high for me, but, or I mean, this could work. It just depends on how I feel. Cause sometimes I don't like bags in front of me because um, I just feel like it's in my way. So sometimes I will wear it a little bit lower and wear it down here a little bit. Sometimes I will put it like this. Um, 
However, it isn't really meant to be worn like on your shoulder, how I would like to wear it sometimes, just because of these tabs and they are angled in a way that makes it easy for, for you to wear it across your body. So when you wear it on your shoulder, it dangles like out like that. So all in all, it's a beautiful bag. I think it's beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. Um, kind of understated, but also if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I like it for those reasons. Even the Louis Vuitton on the fabric is really only visible when it hits the right lighting and you're looking at it the right way. Just like the bag from afar, you might not even notice it's a Louis Vuitton product until you get up close or like you have the lighting hit it in the right way. So it's a subtle flex. So that is my little quick review of the S-Lock sling bag from Louis Vuitton. I would give this bag an eight out of 10. Do recommend if you know the strap doesn't bother you um, and the other things that I mentioned don't bother you. The wear and tear on the S-Lock, that's just something that's gonna happen with I think all their products in their men line, men's line with the S-Lock because I think they all are the same mechanism with this magnet and they all are painted black. So like I said, there's gonna be, over time, um, chipping on the edges of the black paint. And you can see uh, right there, you can see that's the contact point uh, for the magnet. Um, so that's, you know, probably not gonna wear super well over time. Oh, I guess I will tell you guys the price. <laughs> if you're in the market with this bag, you probably already know how much it costs. Um, so it is, she was not cheap. <laughs> well, nothing from <laughs> Louis Vuitton's cheap. Um, it was 2910 uh, Two. It was $2,910, so about $3,000 after tax. Anyways, so let's go ahead and end this video. If you guys like what you saw, please like, um, comment uh, if you want, subscribe if you want. Um, I do have some other products that I am considering reviewing or bring on here and letting you guys know my experience with them. So let me know if you guys want to see more and subscribe and stay tuned to see what else happens. Bye guys.